and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more infinite bolus. That's right, we have a combo deck here where the goal is to have as many Nickel Bolas Dragon Gods as possible on the battlefield. So as you can just tell by just looking at this, we are basically uh, Esper Control, or really just Blue-Black Control. We're, there you go. We're, we are a Demir Control deck uh, that we are just splashing white for these Teferi cards, the Time Raveler, the Hero of Dominaria, and the Oath of Teferi. And we're splashing red for Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. Every single other card in the entire 75 is blue or black, so all the rest are Demir cards. So the reason why we're doing these is because we want this combo here, where uh, if we have um, Nicol Bolas out here, right? So we have Nicol Bolas, we have Oath of Teferi, so we can activate Nicol Bolas multiple times, and we have a Jace Cunning Castaway in play. Because Jace Cunning Castaway has that minus five that you create two tokens of itself that are not legendary. The Dragon God starts at four loyalty. You can tick up once to put it to five loyalty. And then if you got, if, so if you get to activate it twice, you can first play it, tick it up to get it to five, and then do the minus five and you make two separate Nicol Bolas Dragon Gods. And then each one can tick up again and go to five. And then you ultimate both of them to make two more. So you can have four of them and, and you just continue do, to do that into perpetuity uh obviously you can't do that just um i guess you can't really do it infinite times because you do draw a card each time so you will mill yourself out but eventually with how each time you do it your opponent exiles a card from their hand or a permanent they control eventually you just do it enough times you do it enough times until they exile like all their permanents and then with your remaining with all your nickel boluses that you have then you start doing jace's minus two once they exile all their permanents and just put a whole bunch of tutus into play. And then obviously they don't have any permanents or any cards in hand anymore. So you just kill them with some tutus uh, before you mill out. So that's the goal. The goal is to have Jace and Oath of Teferi in play and then play Nicol Bolas and then we go infinite. So uh, besides that, we're just backing it up with just regular good control cards and hoping that that will do. The last time we played this, I did not have Car Sir Scion of Urza in the deck. That's a new addition that I want to try out. I just want another I want another four mana planeswalker here that we get to play before Oath of Teferi. This seems this card seems like it works really, really well with Oath of Teferi because you know you get to do uh two activations. You can tick up, reveal two cards, and you know, usually how they give you like the bad one and then you like put like this good card in exile. Well, you can just immediately minus one and get that good card because you get to activate it multiple times. So I want to try that out there. Um, but that's our deck. So let's let's give it a try. Let's see how many times we can get our three-card combo online and get infinite bolus. <laughs> Thanks, Equinox. Well, it says, your stream's never disappointed. No, they'll click and see some fresh decks. Good stuff. Oh. Thanks, Equinox. That's that's my goal. I want to always have um, some different things and try to explore everything. You know, like all these, like there's so many cards in standard. And I want to, by the time, by the time a card's in standard, I want to have like some deck with it basically at some point, like basically all the rares for the most part. Yeah, our mana base is kind of tough. It's basically just blue, black um, lands. The interplanar beacons are really important because the beacons let us have white and or red mana. The toughest thing is the Oath of Teferi, of course, is not a not a planeswalker, so we don't get to actually cast it off the interplanar beacon. So that's pretty tough. Mono red. Mono red's a good deck. It's the only deck we've lost to today. <laughs> I want to frenzy every color after the last deck you did. Yeah, I kind of want to also. Like, um, yeah, Swordtooth with frenzy in particular is awesome. Uh, frenzy with, like, in blue, that's something I haven't done. The blue frenzy, and that's actually a card I've been kind of looking at. I'll probably do that like within the next week or so, 
make a, make a deck with the blue frenzy. I don't remember the name of it. Is it like Verity Circle maybe? But there's a, a blue frenzy. Also. Well, we need to draw. We need to draw Ritual of Soot. We have, I think, I think we have three Ritual of Soots in this deck. So that's why I was hoping that we would have drawn one here, because that would have been a really nice card. But maybe we draw it this next turn. Hey, what's up, Necrolepsy? Thanks for getting that hype in the chat there. Fourth sub of the day. Hope you're having a good start to your week here on this Monday. If I try to Naya Frenzy, I have not. But that could be... Naya would... I'm sure Naya would help your... Uh, red matchup because like instead of playing phoenix and hellkite you know you can be playing shalai and lyra which just help your you know help your red match up there just having white in your decks then you also get deafening clarion and knight of autumn you know you, white gives you a whole lot of stuff to fight red that just green red does not offer I'll let our opponent kill us. Precognition Field. That's the name of the card. That's the Blue Frenzy. Because it could make like an 8 Frenzy deck. Maybe Teamer with Sword Tooth, and then just Spells, and then 8 Frenzies. All right. And uh, sideboard time. Bring in everything. Cut. Stuff. I think we actually, like, kind of cut our... Cut our combo. Here, Mono Red doesn't let you do fun things. I don't know. Dragon God's still good. All right, so this is 62. Uh, Time Raveler slows them down a little bit. And can bounce a Frenzy. Uh, Karn. Pretty slow, too. Let's go. Let's go with this. That's reasonable. Ashiok's in the sideboard for the Command the Dreadhorde decks and for uh, Is It Phoenix. Also, if we're playing a, a control mirror with a lot of Planeswalkers, like if they're also playing a Planeswalker deck, I kind of like Ashiok just to be in as like a, a mill card, honestly, because like that can be like a slower matchup. Where if you have a card that says mill four, mill eight, mill twelve, mill sixteen, you know, like that can can make a big difference. Can take away win cons and things like that. Hey, what's up, six one nine? Good job, Cap. Got platinum for the first time. Way to go. So they have two more light up the stages. One mana divination. Quite good. But maybe they get three and four mana cards. No, not cheap things. Uh, 
So the beacon does help us gain a little bit of life also every time we cast the Planeswalker, so that's kind of nice. I'm going to actually just Time Raveler this Steamkin instead of sitting it away. I want to, you know, kind of waste waste their turn. You know, not only do we get to draw a card there, but then also if they just want to you know, like play another Steamkin. Only time will tell. Hmm. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Teferi's such a braggart. No time for a break. All right. Game three. Not yet. We just... This is the first match, Mimir. So I haven't comboed off yet. And we're playing against Mono Red, where I boarded out the combo also. We we comboed off the, the previous time we played the deck. This is the second time that I've played this deck. Uh, the first time we got to combo off a couple of times, but not not today. Yeah, I think the first the first discard spell getting rid of the frenzy was the the real big thing. Oh, I love Ritual of Sud in this matchup. This is basically just a five card hand here, though. I'm gonna just go ahead and ship it. Hmm, all tap lands. All right, good. Watergrave makes these not all tap lands. Hey, Duriel. That's not the best card for me to time Raveler, admittedly. I mean, taking the light up the stage could be pretty nice here, but I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm really worried about the Frenzy, though. But by, hopefully by the time they get Frenzy, they will have to ferry. No, don't draw land. It's bad. Yeah, but if I if I big to ferry the frenzy, then that that basically my my big to ferry will die, because then I only have one loyalty. I need the big to ferry to draw a lot of cards so I can turn this around. Wow. That go according to plan. Using the shock there, not. Yay. All right, got to deal with these Vyashina Pyromancers. Hmm. Don't really like time raveling those things.
Stop. It's not good. Not good. I can no longer hold that thought. Yay. That was the best card to hit. Enough. That was the best card to hit there. to move quickly. Yeah, Time Raveler is not ideal against Mono Red at all. Um, it's not like I had better things. I am one again. Wow. Getting rid of a Viachina Pyromancer. This can, you know, this could bounce Frenzy though, and like it's, it's very good against Steamkin. Like that's that's one thing. It's very good against Steamkin, and then besides that, it can just bounce. That's how it was meant to uh, could bounce Frenzy, and then let let me have like a discard spell to get rid of a Frenzy. All right, get rid of that first, so they can't just choose that. All right, Dragon God finishes them off. Getting rid of all damn permanents. Yeah, I think it, I think it might have been a frenzy in hand too that they were really wanting that that extra land for how they got rid of that uh, pyromancer in play, thinking it was frenzy. And so even if they you know they would have been able to play the frenzy, uh, then you know me bouncing me bouncing the frenzy and then making them exile another card with bolus could have worked pretty well for us. All right, these are the cards in our deck. So we got two pieces of combo, Hase and Tefer and Oath. I need uh, um, I need white mana for Oath. Hello. Our combo is. Hase, Oath of Teferi, and what are all these dinosaurs doing? Only has green mana right now. I need, I need lands, but I need white mana. <laughs> Obviously, the top card was just a red source. Why not? <sighs> Why not? So I was hoping that I would be able to have enough time to be able to, you know, like Thought Erasure, another threat, and Elder Spell Domri whenever they would draw Domri. But I mean, I guess I still have to Elder Spell Domri here, but then they're going to have the Rip Jaw that I'm not going to be able to deal with. I mean, I could. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm going to have to take Registrar Alpha like the next turn. Skirmish you can walk away from, right? 
I don't really know how I'm going to deal with this ripjaw yet. Alright, we found something to deal with that. For a turn. I know my responsibility. I've got it. Like is this thing? Tax it deals one damage. Slightly annoying. This might be a bad idea. what I want to do. That's a nice combo. That's a really nice combo. I still have much to learn. That's a really nice combo. I've got time. I've done the hero thing before. Can we untap with a Jace? Can I play Jace and untap with Jace? Yeah, probably not, right, Hawkeye? That's what I was thinking. That's that's all we need to do is just untap with Jace now. And then we have the win, but we just gotta somehow un like we just gotta have our opponent not kill my Jay somehow. It's certainly possible that my opponent just ignores Jace, right? It's possible. No. No, just let me put. Just let me keep the Jace. So rude. X's and no. Is a lesson to be learned. Wow. Wow. 
that card with Otha Teferi. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. I don't think I ever drew Liliana last last time I played this with Otha Teferi. Yeah, I could have I could have double Jace to make two blockers, it's, but then I wouldn't have been able to thought erasure away the removal spell. Smelly but effective. No. Uh. Do not ruin my dress. Your bulk death is enlightening. <laughs> what a good mindless minion. Got the land drop. Another time, planes walk. Let your weak minds crumble. I know all there is to know. So next turn, I can. Next turn, I, I will potentially have just eight mana. Even if like these things die, maybe I'll just have eight mana and be able to just drop both of them. We just gotta survive. Okay. So we just let Liliana die. Or, or also not. I guess I don't need to. That thing has trample, so deal one. I mean, we're we're good here. <clears throat> Your assault is insulting. They were a lousy servant. I just have to make sure I don't mill out. Which which having the Liliana gives the the Nicol Bolas another tick up that's not draw a card. So that's good. All right, it's happening. We're going to do it. Holding back, shut up and dance with me. Destiny. Hawkeye, Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Oh no, opponent, come on. Let us do our thing. My schemes have been foiled. My intellect is without limit. I'm always a step ahead. Will resonate throughout the More bolus. I have other schemes to attend to witness a moat of my power. Your defiance is infuriate. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. When one Nicol Bolas Dragon God isn't good enough. Everything I will spare you. 
in exchange for eternal servitude. Yeah, and we go go in infinite. And so yeah, we could have just you know, like just keep on make you know, basically get rid of all their permanents with Nicobolus's tick ups, and then eventually whenever they get rid of all their permanents, then we start uh using Liliana's tick up to make two two zombies and make more boluses and we can we just had like infinite two two zombies um and infinite boluses there <laughs> nickel bolus everywhere thanks for the cheers there jelly all right so the problem here is my main removal sp suite is like ritual of soot cry the carnarium moment of craving and my opponent's playing a bunch of big dinosaurs so that's that's something that I'm going to struggle with here. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's just going to be a struggle. But we're hoping... We're hoping to make it work somehow again. It worked last time. I joined the jail 10 minutes ago. I must admit, this deck is awesome. Thanks. That's the strength of Oath of Teferi. Oath of Teferi, super strong. I don't know. I need to play more Oath of Teferi. That's, that's something I definitely need to do. It's really good with uh, Nicol Bolas, you know, being able to activate that thing twice, make them exile two, two uh, cards from their hand or, or in play right away. Yeah, when you're in Diamond, you get paired against people that are a mythic. That happens. Can you beat a Mortal Sun? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> no, we can't beat a Mortal Sun. No, I mean, like, actually, no, we can't. <laughs> nope. A Mortal Sun just... It is game over. But that's all right. Sometimes you just gotta dodge, you know? We just gotta dodge a mortal sun. No big deal. Can't play scared. Every card in my deck is blue or black besides the Teferis and the Nicobolises. So yeah, we could have... There are definitely cards that if we want to play some red card or some white card to answer it, we could. You know, whether we want to play Bedevil, Dispark, Angrass Rampage, all, all that kind of stuff that y'all are saying. Sure. Or, you know, we could also just not play all those cards. And then we'll lose to Immortal Sun, but we also don't have to have those cards in our deck. So that's cool, too. That's what I like. Hmm. Let's get rid of this Vivian. So this is kind of tough. Like, I need white mana for Oath of Teferi, but we don't... We haven't seen Oath of Teferi yet, so we'll just get rid of it for now. Slowing our opponent down. We need more Planeswalkers and Oath of Teferi. But yeah, my, my deck is certainly not built to beat these dinosaurs. This is going to be a tough matchup for us. No, 
I am not making this up as I go. Stop. There we go. All right, got Landwar off. Land we're off out of here for how they missed the land drop. And now this turn I can play to fairy, bounce the ripjaw, and then thought erasure. Hmm. Or I can just ritual sit again. Alright, there's the oath. We need to find white mana now. And I got rid of white mana earlier because you know, we didn't have oath yet. Uh, I just don't know how I'm going to deal with these rip jaws. I don't, I don't have any, any removal form. I have two contempts in the deck. And of course, the my cards like my nickel boluses and teferis, my five mana planeswalkers, and my Liliana and Ugin. So all those, all of my planeswalkers that cost five or more, all can deal with Ripjaw. What's up, Deep Fried? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. Now what? I don't know. I am out of ideas. <clears throat> don't have that many white sources in the deck, so, you know, how we thought Erasure that one over earlier is kind of rough. Obviously, I could have kept it in case we drew one of the two Oath of Teferis, but that's the thing. There's only two Oath of Teferis in here, so it's like there's a lot better chance that I would draw another white source before drawing an Oath of Teferi. So I think there's six white sources. Oh, no, not Regisaur Alpha. Oh, I can't beat that card. GG. Maybe I just play Moment of Craving instead of Ritual Set. Ritual Set can get rid of like the tokens, but actually I probably should just have Moment of Craving for the... For the Elves. Yeah, we need... That's what we need. We need... I need like a better sweeper, like Kaya's Wrath or something. Esbita, getting on that hypo. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. But yeah, our mana doesn't support Kai's Wrath, so that's why we just got the Ritual Sits, because creatures that cost four or more really don't see that much play in Standard. You know, like, there's not very many of them. This is, we're just ran into a deck that's 
you know, features a lot of them, and it's unfortunate for us. Um, I don't know what the best matchups are for this deck, I don't know. But yeah, Moment of Craving, definitely a lot better than Ritual of Soot. Wish I would have had that previously. I think that was a good update there. The past, present, and keep an open mind. Maybe I'm supposed to Jace there, because there's like a better chance that we actually get to hit our opponent with a Jace token. Hmm. Whatever 4-drop they play, I can cast down. Oh, I should play the other beacon. I could gain another life. Are they your Just because it isn't real doesn't mean it Hone your prowess. Oh, this is tough. I got this. Oh, the Teferi's just too fun. We we have just tons of other good Planeswalkers, you know, like, getting rid of the Nicol Bolas. Like, there's a lot of other five and six mana Planeswalkers. There's only the two of the Teferi's. And uh, that card can reset Narset and then uh, let us activate a bunch and make all of our future Planeswalkers a lot better. Try this. Double Regisaur Alpha. Well, of course, the plan was to. Gosh, and Vivian that just kills Oath of Teferi. Ugh. Not, not good. Not good. I can't really beat these Registrar Alphas, though. We gotta take those. The plan was, of course, to Thought Erasure and then cast down. But that plan is not gonna work. Alright, now I wish I would have just taken Nicol Bolas. Your victory is just an illusion. Come beasts are much more reliable than humans. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay, so you've got claws. That was real bad. Oh, the Teferi, when it when it blinks something, that thing that you blink I've doesn't return until the end step. Like so even if I blinked Narset, it's not like I would get to actually activate Narset. Narset would come back at end step, be a five mana. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. So this is cast something big, deal four damage. I know my responsibility. Let's take it back. Ah, 
strike me, and you strike nature. We're still, like, gonna lose this, but... Um... These cards just are so good. <laughs> Basically, all these cards match up so well against me. You know, Registrar Alpha, Vivian, all these things. I, I, can't, I can't beat these things. Uh, we're going to give it a good run, though. Yeah, I'm not beating the Carnage Tyrant. But now at least that, that enchantment thing's gone for good. Skip to the good part. We need to find Bolus. Um, let's not tap. Oh, whatever. I need white mana. What? Oh, did I just not even do blue? Eh, whatever. I have reached my limit. Hurry. Let's slow this down. Trust me, I have a plan. Let's try this. You never know if we can find Nicol Bolas. All right, now we're dead. Let's do this again. <laughs> So they could have played uh, this Raging Regisaur and Galta instead of Lana Werewolf and Galta. Wow. Killing that Teferi. Instead of the other Teferi. Just let me know if you're All right. Round two. Okay. Here, let's start by activating this thing. Ugin can make a bunch of two twos. No time for a break. All right, well, we're kind of doing it. Just the trick for this. I mean, I do need that. I do need that bolus, but. But yeah, I'm grabbing search because we get the the extra two mana here. Do 
We get an extra three mana, really. Hey, thanks, Eisen F. Thanks for that sub there. Seventh sub of the day. Ah, oh, no! Not another Vivian. That can't help. Not no. Uh, I have I have Liliana that can kill Carnage Tyrant, I suppose. Like Liliana, minus four, can make them sacrifice. This is uh, hardly my worst defeat. Boo. Not again. Raging and Ripjaw. Hmm. There's Lily. Are we doing it? I feel like we're kind of doing it. They killed both my Oath of Teferis, though. I only have two of those, and they've killed both of them, and that, that makes me really sad. I must train harder. Seriously? They just don't play a creature here? Your corpse will volunteer. Oh, I do love a good death. I'll find a use for you later. A good choice. Give me this. <laughs> We're kind of doing it. I am not going to sit this one out. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Every exploit ripples. So we're not going to be able to infant Enfi combo without the Teferi gone, but we can just tr just grind him out with four Planeswalkers. I mean, I don't I don't necessarily think that my opponent's stream sniping. I think I I kept that card on top with the Thought Erasure really quickly, and maybe they maybe they thought it was just a Kaya's Wrath. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're stream sniping. Because they didn't play a second creature there. <laughs> Thanks, Blake. Sure, I'll keep that. I'll protect you. I 
Actually, let's put that under the Karn. Uh, I guess I only have 24 cards in deck. It's not a lot. Maybe I need to start minus twoing this Karn. I don't even know what the two cards are. What is it? It's Time, Time Raveler and Chapel. Yeah, I guess I'll have to start making some Karn Strucks. Oh, that's too many choices. Here, you do this. This looks like a fun new toy. Ether itself. All the Cosmos are mine to control. So I can like minus four the bolus to to have both players sacrifice two creatures. Oh no. Um We're gonna have to get rid of that thing. All right. Here goes nothing. Return. Twenty cards. This isn't a fight you can win. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do that. Actually. All right, shouldn't have done that other thing. Where are you at? I know all there is to know. All right, shouldn't have played that other Teferi, but oh well. Whatever. Death. We're fine. Just gotta make sure I don't mill out. Just gotta make sure we can deal the enough damage. But I think we're good. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Right on schedule. Um. I can activate this to fairy. Keep up the I'm not going to activate the Narset. But yeah, we we had that under wraps. It turns out when Bolas can just do anything because you have just so many Planeswalkers, that's pretty good. Numasi says, I really enjoy your channel and the fact that you play such a range of decks. What type of fa is your favorite, though? Aggro, midrange, control, jank. Uh, Mid-range is usually my favorite. Um, yeah, mid-range is going to be my favorite. Yeah, we're going to yeah, we were going to be able to like bounce whatever with scorn and yeah, yeah, we were good. Um, yeah, we had too many planeswalkers. We had to use the scroll button. That was lots of planeswalkers. All right, 2-0 for Infinite Bolas. I wasn't too confident that we were going to be winning that one, to be honest. But we got there. Yeah, green and white is my favorite color combination. Well, our 26 land deck had the old one land, zero land. Thanks for playing. I haven't, I haven't been playing any Vanifar decks here recently. All right, get a lot of land drops. Maybe a Ritual of Soot can be like a 12 for one. This 
So if this is mono red again, we did lose game one to mono red last time, and I have a whole like most all of my sideboard is for mono red. You know, with it just being full of moment of cravings and more sweepers and everything. Good draw. Gruel deck felt really good, honestly. Uh, both of the losses with Gruel was to Mono Red, and talked about at the end of like some maybe a couple of things to change in the deck there. But it felt really good against everything else. You know, like didn't play a, a whole lot of matches, of course, with just the five. But we were three zero against non Mono Red and 0-2 against Mono Red. How much worse is Soul Tide Dread Horde compared to the four color one? I don't think it's any worse. I don't think worse is, you know, it's different and, um, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily worse. I think it's just different. It's going to be more consistent. It's going to be better against people that are lined up trying to beat Planeswalkers. It's going to have other interaction for the opponent. Uh, besides really just trying to do Wild Growth Walker, Planeswalkers, and Command the Dread Horde for the people that are, that are ready for that kind of stuff. And having cards like Hydroid Crisis give you, and you know, Hostage Taker gives you like an, another avenue there. All right, hopefully our opponent draws three lands in a row. Can we get that three lands in a row? And no, I don't have any life gain, so as, long, as soon as they draw a three damage burn spell, I die. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Any land. I've got it. Thanks. I still need white mana to be able to play out the Teferi, and I need to draw Jace, and I need to draw Bolas. For the combo kill. This is hardly my worst defeat. Oh right, I have life gain from Interplanar Beacon. That's life gain. So definitely considering going to Fairy Tuck. But then yeah, Teferi would have just died to that chain whirler if I would have gone to Fairy Tuck. Let's go to Fairy Tuck now. I don't really mind them drawing a chain whirler in a couple of turns. I think it's I think Sorry, that's better than going bolus reverse. kill. Plus I think the bolus is more valuable ticking up and removing permanents and everything. No. Uh Oh wait. I can go I can go nickel bolus tuck that. Hold that thought. Or I could go Time Raveler Bounce. Time Raveler Bounce really isn't that bad. No, let's go Bolus Tuck. This gives it so like if they brick here, they are pretty I dead. Am if they just brick here. No. Ugh. Time for plan B. That was not a brick. Yeah, 
Yuck. You know what? I'm not done yet. Okay. I know my responsibility. Here goes nothing. Alright, how can I, like, get this out the Teferi and play? It's only a matter of time. And, like, not die. We need to move quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're hanging in here pretty good. All right, now we get to start dragon godding. That will go according to plan. Hold and then next turn oath. <clears throat> Basically, just gaining all this life from interplanar beacon is like what won me this game. <laughs> Interplanar Beacon. I outsmarted you eons ago. So yeah, that, that game is going to be over. Alright. Wow. The Mold of Five. There are some people saying in chat that I should just not play anything, see what they're playing, and just not, not play anything. But we got there. Hey, Oslin. Thanks for that sub there. Yeah, that interplanar be interplanar bacon? Yeah, that interplanar bacon. Giving you that life gain also with your bacon. All right, so that's 11 cards. Um, unfortunately here, I think we kind of took out our cool combo cards for this matchup. And I cut Karn, and I cut this Elder Spell, and I cut the Narsets. Nothing changed, you fellas, when you just woke up. All right. Always like that line. Rather be working for a paycheck rather than wait to win the lottery. This is just a good song. 
Is Oath worth crafting? I don't know. It's going to rotate soon. It's fun. Does this deck work in ranked at all? I don't know. We've been, we've been playing... I guess this is our second time against Mono Red. The Gruel Dinos you don't really see in ranked. Uh, I, I don't... Yeah, like, I, I would think so, basically. I guess that's the answer to the question. Yes. Tuffery. Right on schedule. Here we go. This is like one of the best decks in the format? No. But you can get some wins and have some fun or something different. There are certainly holes. Like, I can't beat Immortal Sun at all. Like, I I haven't... I have nothing against Immortal Sun whatsoever, and it's just how I'm going with it. To phase you out of time. Not even trying to beat Immortal Sun. So, so Sulphur Falls will come into play tapped. As far as, like, next turn is concerned. Yeah, Oath of Teferi could bounce lands, yeah. That is true. I mean, just... cast. I mean, well, even, like... Even if Oath of Teferi... Even... Not even considering the Oath of Teferi bouncing lands, I could have... Yeah, I could have Oath of Teferi and Contempted. Because Oath of Teferi... Even just Oath of Teferi, um, lets me activate the Teferi again, so that I would I would have been able to just untap four lands for Contempt. Spawn will be mine. All right, start getting rid of permanents. My revenge will be painful. Let your weak. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Let's have a bolus get rid of permanence. Start working towards this ultimate also. Got time. I'm one mana short from playing Teferi, untapping two lands, and having Ritual of Set. Because, you know, we'd be able to instant speed Ritual of Set, but I'm one mana short. No! Alright, so they're just My doing that. Intellect is without limit. I am not going. You know what? I'm not done yet. That's a good one. All right, and our infinite bolus deck, three and O, including beating mono red twice. Yeah, this deck was my invention. I wanted to, yeah, I put this deck together. I wanted to try to try this combo out. Yeah, Gruel Frenzy was a good was a good deck. Yeah, we did we did well with Gruel Frenzy. Uh, the Gruel Frenzy video is up on YouTube already as well. Hope y'all are. If y'all don't don't know about the YouTube channel, all the replays you can find up there. youtubecom slash MTG. So the reason to sacrifice the Chain Whirler from what my opponent was doing is because they needed, they wanted all their lands and they wanted to be able to play Frenzy. Like, he, it, it kind of makes sense. Like, if they just thought that the Chain Whirler was going to die to whatever removal spell anyway, makes a little bit of sense there. This has two different colors of mana, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna wait. If I healer's hawk, if I bounce a healer's hawk, they just have their thing kill my Teferi. Or I guess I could just Teferi tick up. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I should just Teferi tick up. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I don't really want to... I'll use this ritual on just these two little birdies. Stand by and watch. Let's try this. You just let me know if you're up for rounds. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, I guess I'm using it on those two little birdies. With only two cards left in hand and us having a cast down. A little annoying. Our basically two color deck with just like all blue and black lands and don't have. Don't have the ability to play Jace. <laughs> Yeah, the starter deck may beat us. It's certainly possible. Um, Legion's landing can be rough. All right, blue mana. Not blue mana. Blue mana. Okay. I hope they don't have another removal spell chilling over there. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> right. They don't have another binding. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. So taking up Liliana so that we get to just draw some cards. Cards. Canadian way to say cards, I guess. Cards. Waste not, want not. All right, interplanar bacon. All right, now they got two creatures. We'll make up sacrifice. More useful in the grave. And we'll play this other bacon so we can gain another life. Jace here. Wait. We can figure a way out. <laughs> Mirrors. Yeah, we didn't we didn't need to try to we didn't need to like Elder Spell or Jason ultimate Liliana there, that wasn't really too necessary. What a good mindless minion. Let's think this through. Hey, Prugar, good afternoon. If I would have ultimated Lily, my opponent still would have just kept their... Yeah, they would have kept their big, whatever it's called, pride mate and hit me once, but... Just don't need to. Uh, the Teferi is dead for right now, but it may not be into perpetuity. It's a matter of give and take. We could find something to deal with that Ixlon's binding and but I'll get rid of it now. You know, we just had three lands in hand. That seemed like too many, but two lands, that's that's enough. I do want to hit land drop. We'll get rid of it now. Good 
Uh, all right, uh, another ritual set, and probably want all these cry of the carnariums. Maybe not that many cry of the carnariums. I need like two cries, four set, zero elder spell, and. I don't know, all these cards are good. Maybe no Tyrant Scorn. Just have the Sweepas. Could get rid of Contempt. Could get rid of Narset. I'll just trim the Narsets. Yeah, we're we're using um, Jace's minus five ability with boluses to make more boluses. Of course, bolus only starts with four loyalty, so we need the oath to ferry out so that we can tick up bolus, so we can activate twice, so we can tick up once to get to five and then minus five. Well, definitely like having Cry and Ritual of Soot. Our hand looks pretty sweet here. We can kind of see if they have counter magic with like, if that's what this blue mana is for, that we can Thought Erasure away some counter magic. I'll just take the card that costs four mana instead of the card that costs five mana. Yep, it is about time to restart this client. Good call there. Is it pouring rain outside? It's trying to listen to like. Let us begin. I'll make use of that laser. Second, let me check something. I can't. So I had to turn off the my water pump earlier today because um, what I was doing all day is I had a, a pipe. Um, There's a, a pipe that got a hole in it earlier today, uh, like down in my basement. And so there was like starting to be like some flooding. And so I was dealing with that all day and patched that up. I'm uh, having a plumber come over tomorrow morning, right away in the morning, but uh, patch it up a little bit. And then I just turned off the water pump to the house. The, if you show remorse, but it kind of, so I can't tell if it's like, might be a bad it doesn't idea. seem like it's raining too much, but it's, it kind of sounds like, like something is like trying to draw water or something. I don't know. It's, let's keep the land. Oh, right. I, I never activated you. I meant. You go get the bolus, sorry. Hmm. All right, looking for Oath of Teferi. Why keep the land on top? I don't know. Lands are good. Hmm. 
we're gonna have lots of cards. That's more like it. I don't think cards are gonna be a problem. Ooh. You are all so generous. So just being able to hit land drops all the time is nice. I didn't, like, it was just a, it was like a hole in a pipe that was spraying out water. I didn't, like, fix it by myself, I would say. I duct taped it up and everything to make it so, so instead of spraying water everywhere, it's just, like, you know, barely leaking. But then I shut off the water to that pipe also, so then, so then that, you know, obviously that there's not water running through that pipe, then... And that's really like the the fix, but that's that's not like a long term fix or anything. That's just um for the rest for the rest of the day, having a plumber come out tomorrow. Let's just start making some artifacts. I got too many cards anyway. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Oh wait. That's what I meant to do. I meant to go grab the tyrant scorn. I knew that was gonna be minus in crap. I meant to grab that tyrant scorn because then I have the two mana to bounce that thing. Oh well. That's what I meant to do, yeah, the Tyrant Scorn. <laughs> Whips. Alright, well, Bolus dies. Silly me. I, I think we'll be fine, though. Hey, another Bolus. Just never punished. Oh, let's play this thing. All right, combo time. I've got them all figured out. Your defiances infuriate my schemes are never ending. And then now minus five, make two more nickel boluses. Everything gods once. So we can draw more. One again. Draw another card. And then we uh, minus five, make two more nickel boluses. All right, now we got three of them. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. So why not just have Bolas minus three to kill the? Uh, shall I instead of bouncing it originally? Honestly, at that point, it really doesn't matter what we do. We're going to be winning the game. I went with Safari Bounce just so that, like, with the mana my opponent had, they were basically just going to be playing that Shall I again the next turn because I can certainly beat them just playing another Shall I the next turn and so on. But honestly, we could do either way. It, it really didn't matter. <clears throat> All right, restart client. Good call. Since it was getting a little laggy there. All right. We are about to be facing the final boss, though, here, since we are 4 and 0. Oh. So we got our own final boss playlist. This, I do hear thunder outside, so maybe that's rain that I hear. Also, hey, John Corky, Gatsby, hey, y'all. 
Mercer just went 3-0 in best of three with the old Gruul midrange deck and then 1-0 with Selesnya Arcbow. Doing work with the Todd Stevens decks. That's awesome. Glad to hear. Yeah, I got a thousand viewers in here. Welcome, everybody. Hope y'all are all having a really good start to your week here on this fine Monday evening, afternoon, night, depending on where you're at. All right, so Time Raveler, Narset, Hero of Dominaria, and another Narset. Let's take the first Narset. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Yeah, no second blue, but I mean. I have a plan. They could certainly draw a blue source. It's, that can't be that difficult. But take one... Like, this thing only just draws a card. Narset, like... I don't know. Narset's good. I've got time. Okay, so... If they would have played no, Narset on turn 4, which is what I was thinking they are going to be doing, and then Teferi on turn 5... We would have been able to Elder Spell clean up all of those. This isn't a fight, you uh, but now I'll just try to Elder Spell to kill these two. This is hardly my worst defeat. My prowess with thoughtfulness before action. Wow, they, they whiffed? Hmm. This is kind of an awkward turn. I will remake the multiverse. In my image, my revenge will be painful. My schemes are never ending. Keep All right, so we'll make him exile stuff. That's awkward. Othakaya with hero kills my nickel bolus. You think I should have just nickeled minus three to kill the Narset? Could have. But then then my bolus died for sure. Insolent fool. Blah. I have other schemes to attend. Yeah, maybe I should have just done that. Third Narset? The focused and disciplined in front of hone your prowess. Bleh. Oh no. How can I possibly be Command the Dread Horde? I don't think I can. No, I can't beat that card. <laughs> I can't beat that card. Like that gets that gets my my bolus and um my bullet like my, yeah like my my nickel bolus their big to fairy their little to fairy another narset. Yeah, that was not good. All right, so bringing in more Elder Spells, more Duresses. I mean, I like Ritual against Hero. But maybe not three Rituals. I'm thinking maybe Ashiok.
I mean, even even with Ashiok, Command Command can still just get my Planeswalkers and still be awesome. So, no, let's just get rid of Ashiok. Hey, Storm, welcome back. I will be Vincent, but not really on stream. I won't be doing the Singleton on stream. Hmm. I guess I have to cut Tyrant Scorn. That's a fairy and... I guess another one. I'll cut one Jace. Ashiok cannot exile your own graveyard. Um, yes. Cry. I guess I was thinking about what to take out, but yes, Cry the Carnarium would have d just done the same thing that Ritual of Soot would do, but for one less mana. So yeah, I guess I, I should have Cry instead of Ritual of Soot. And it exiles too, which is just better. So yeah. Sorry, I was thinking about just like the rest of the cards of like what I was cutting and everything, but... Yeah, Cry would be better than Soot here. So they just have Hallowed Fountain, Hallowed Fountain. Is it better to Teferi or, or Nicobolas? I guess Teferi. Because if I take up Nicobolas, they just exile the Othakaya. a bad idea. Well, now I kind of wish I... Yeah, now I definitely wish I would have just played Bolas. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Immortal Nicole Bolas. But we're looking good. Your... I will return one day. My intellect is without I think limit. Drown Catacombs are just more valuable than Steam Vents. Like, we, the only red card in our deck is Nicol Bolas, and we already have um, two red mana. So I'm just keeping the Steam Vents to discard. Are they just not getting rid of their Othakaya? No. Just forget they can just get rid of Othakaya. Minds 
from. The path, I have just the trick for this. I can no long. We need to move quickly. Okay. We're looking great here. I train meditate and prepare. So game three, can we do the same thing where we will be on the draw? Them having a bunch of disparks is annoying. All right, so cry over set, and I think I should play the cast down. Like, Oath of Teferi, while it's awesome, is going to be kind of tough. Like, they have a whole lot of enchantment removal with, like, their little Teferi, big Teferi. They have a lot of things that just get rid of the enchantments, and then to the sparks also. This card's just so cool, though. I think we're going to keep it. Jace is just pretty bad, though, also against Little Teferi. Balancing the token and everything. We'll just cut a Jace for the cast down. Yeah, yet I got space tomorrow. Absolutely. I really should have a bomb creature in the sideboard for these type of matches. But what what creature do you recommend? That they're Tyrant Scorn and Disparks when Gerd of like as we saw there they had Tyrant Scorn and Dispark. I am not going to sit this one out. That's more like it. Teshar combo. Before action, all right. I'd, I'd have to take a look at that and figure out how it works. <laughs> It'd be pretty hard to cast Direfully Daredevil, though. Like, just don't have very many red sources. I have four red lands in the deck. I'll protect you. It's not very many. Oh, I guess I should have done that first. Oh. Still, just do this. I have just the trick for this. Oh, come on. Yep, I guess I should grab the elder spell. It's unfortunate. Let's try this. 
This is what Hero Precinct 1 is just really good at, like, making me play, like, these, you know, Cry, Cast Down, that kind of stuff. These other cards. I guess my Narset does a good job of shutting down the Teferi a little bit. Hmm... So Oath of Kaya now can kill my Nicol Bolas, which is really unfortunate. But I just I just want to get that Teferi out of there. They have to spark for the last card. That's really really annoying. So I grabbed Elder Spell, or sorry, I grabbed Thought Erasure to take their Elder Spell. Looks like I should have just taken my own Elder Spell. I was hoping to kind of protect my oh, Bolas. If you show remorse, I'll show the strength. Let's try this. Yeah, I got Thieves Andes. Thieves Andes is not very good in this matchup of with these other Kayas, and it's, it does not match up very well against Teferi Tom Raveler either. Honestly. All right, so Karn doesn't draw, which is really good with the Narset. Karn just cleared out two lands off the top, so that's good. Also. Oh, they have Command the Dreadhorde. I guess I guess I need Command the Dreadhorde in my sideboard for this matchup. We've seen just like both both games, my opponent just has Command the Dreadhorde and I lose. This is a fight you can win. Yeah, I can't. Can't beat Command the Dreadhorde. Well, we have we have three Elder spells in the deck. We know one's towards the bottom of the library, though. There's two others in here. You know what? I'm not done yet. Maybe we draw Elder spell. Meditate and prepare. Well, now drawing Elder Spell won't even work because they would get instant speed thought erasure. That's more like it. before action. You need to slow down. Bleh. I've got it. Command the Dread Horde's pretty messed up. Minus scene course doesn't do anything with the Narset in play. Keep up the pace. Is that not really a reason to minus? Mind and body should move in this. Keep an open mind. Hey, that was uncalled for. Don't worry, I got this. Here 
goes nothing. They have so many Teferis in their hand, still. I think that's the only Ascanta in the deck, I think. Yeah, I think that's that's the only one. Trust me, I have a plan. This is game three right now. Um, yeah, they won game one because of command, and then I won game two. And then they're winning game three here. When you both have small Teferi in play, that means neither player can play instance. No time for a break. Um, if a card tells you you cannot do something, that overpowers a card that tells you you can do something. I Are you certain of your decision? Well, at least Karn's cleared out a lot of lands. All three tick-ups have been two lands. <laughs> so there's... There's a bunch of lands gone. Jeez. So they have to have the, all four Narsets. Right? The trick so that's their this. third Narset right now. Because they they use my Narset too. After the command with Dreadhorde. I'm known for my excellent timing. No, I am not making this up as I go. I have let my friends down. Let's skip to the good part. At least they don't get to instant speed Thought Erasure this turn. Meditate and no, I don't know how we're going to win this. <laughs> they should just go to the next match. I'll protect you. Only time will time tell. Together. They already... Okay. Farewell. Alright, that'll do it. All right, so we're four and one. Thankfully, we still had the extra life. So final boss fight, part two, because we had the extra life there. All right, good looking hand. We got some cool planeswalkers. We'll see if we get run over or not. Hopefully not. Diagraph Ghoul. Well, that's a. This is a run you over kind of hand. One drop, two drop. And we're not drawing anything to help us out too much here. Not yet. I have three Ritual of Soot's main deck. So we'll draw one of those right now. Or Karn. Gain a life. Our actions determine the course of history. Looking for ritual. Good choice. They're both pretty good. <sighs> 
So next turn, I'm, I may just want to minus one the Karn and play Little Teferi and Tyrant Scorn. Be able to do both of those things. Like, you know, maybe bounce, like, Diagraph Ghoul, kill Freebooter. Maybe bounce Conquistador. I don't think I want to bounce Freebooter. What was lost is now returned. Yeah, let's bounce, bounce Conquistador. I guess Conquistador is just better because Conquistador can like kill Teferi and deal a point of damage to me. Where Diagraph Ghoul just has to do the two to Teferi if that's their play. That's how it was meant to happen. Probably just sit on a bunch of removal over there. Good old interplanar beacon. Gaining me that life. When you understand reality, you and Ooh. Oh, that's a fairy. Manifest before you. <laughs> Yeah, Ugin looking really nice here, just giving us some 2-2s two for their board here. I mean, it's definitely helped us that after one drop, two drop, they've basically done nothing else after that for the next four turns. Hmm. So we faced some jank in round four. Looks like we got some jank again here, round six. It's kind of surprising at four and one that we're facing this matchup. I wonder, you know, like, or if they've picked up some wins or if they're just 0 and 0 and we're like four and one and facing somebody who's 0, 0 and 0. I don't know. So much stuff. I think this game's over. Well, it'll take a little while for us to win, but can't really imagine our opponent winning from here. The art on costly plunder. That does look pretty cool. I have other plans. You have no weakness I cannot exploit. <laughs> Maybe they could play their own Elder Spell. No, kill the other one. 
I want the other one to die. Ugin, why can't you kill kill the own thing? I think they double block if I attack. Come on, double block, double block. Just kill my kill my thing. I need my oath to fairy. All right, so we don't get to go infinite here. Now I, I don't have the mana to be able to play the Oath of Teferi and the Jace this turn. Yeah, if I if I minus three the bolus though, then I I wouldn't have enough to be able to do the the two things anyway. I wouldn't have enough uh, loyalty. Yeah, you know, if I minus three did, it wouldn't be at the five loyalty. Truth lies beyond vision. Ether itself serves me. How convenient! An excellent choice. Oh yeah, we could have just played the Jace first. That's yeah, that's a good point. If I yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, if I would have just played Jace first, then we minus five bolus and we get two of them, and then one bolus minus threes to get the Oath of Teferi. Yeah, we could have done it like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is gonna be the next MCQ list, but this list is pretty fun. I'll just bring in some more sweepers. Instead of time ravelers. That's fine. We've gotten to combo a couple of times. I think twice. I think we've comboed twice this league. All right, good mana. Yeah, but once once we got like three or four nickel boluses and started doing it, then then yeah, people concede. <laughs> Combo is amazing. The Ral expansion combo is pretty difficult to pull off in a world of Teferis. But with that being said, you know, I have the Jeskai Storm Conduit deck that it, that has that combo in it. Like that's that's what it's built around. It's pretty sweet. Gonna draw a lot of cards. Wow. I don't feel bad for the opponent. We're gonna let them draw like eight cards with Ritual of Soot. But then that happened. That's why people say that playing control, like, sometimes playing control decks is really, 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 really easy. You just play your sweeper, then play your planeswalker, and you win. Or 
For all the people that are like, man, red deck wins is so easy, play control, that's hard. It's not always the case. Yeah, that, yeah, that's how a lot of control decks kind of work out. Play your removal spell, then your sweeper, or like your discard, then your sweeper, then your planeswalker. I will return. Witness a moat of my power. All right, this is our fastest way of finding out the Teferi and Jace. Is playing this card. I know eighty-eight ways to defeat. Put thoughtfulness before. Action. All right, there's out the Teferi. Now I just need a. Uh, now I just need Jace. Keep an open mind. There's Jace. We're at least gonna minus five. That's pretty sweet. In exchange for eternal servitude. I don't even really want to activate these things, honestly. I will fight for it's like if I activate, our opponent's going to concede. Hmm. For defiances and fury, my schemes are never ending. I guess I could be ticking up like like Jace tick up, where it's just where it just does nothing. We lost connection to the server. Is that too much power? The Jaces were too much power. All right, so ended up with the win there. A little anticlimactic last match, but. We drew the cry of the Carnarium. And we got the five wins. Yeah, not activating them would be uh, bad manners. Yeah, that's true. So this is pretty sweet. Uh, you can, you would not play this deck if you want to replace Jace. Because that's the, Jace is the combo card in here. Like, basically this, this deck is just built to be a combo deck with Jace, Oath of Teferi, Nicol Bolas. So if you want to replace Jace, you just play like regular Esper Control or something. Or, um, you know, you just kind of change it up. Uh, but yeah, Infinite Bolas getting the 5-0. Uh, we defeated two kind of two jankier decks, but then beat Mono Red a couple of times. And we had that tough win against the Dinosaurs. Also, that I did not think we were going to be winning because of how our removal lined up against it. But it's pretty fun. You know, like, if you get this going, anytime you can get, you know, three, two, three, four, five, you know, infinite Nickel Bulls, Dragon Gods in play, that's a fun time. So that's what this deck's trying to do. Um, it's pretty sweet. All right. Uh, if you are watching this video later on YouTube... I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button over there. I would appreciate that. Um, but thank you so much for watching Infinite Bolas, and I will see you for another video. All right, I'll go back to the normal playlist.